Hello, my name is Nathan Sharon. This is mine and Luke Carter's presentation for AMST 3000. It is entitled The Trump Effect. This, pre this is our final presentation and it is on our contribution to the ongoing consideration of the topics discussed in this class. What better way to do that in a course entitled Rock and Roll in Politics than to discuss President Trump and his influence in the music industry? <sighs> Trump has many supporters and opposers in this music industry. Here's an outline of our presentation. As you can see, I will handle the introduction Trump and Trump supporters from the music industry. Luke will later cover Trump opposers from the music industry and the conclusion. Um, President Donald Trump has always been influential in the United States and around the world. And the main reason being because he's very wealthy and famous. However, on June 16, 2015, Trump announced his run for presidency as a Republican candidate. He ran on controversial and unconventional campaign. He campaigned on things such as immigration reform, and the main um, topic there was the wall, building the wall between us and Mexico. Um, he also campaigned on things like repealing Obamacare and tax uh, reforming. Um, this led to many supporters and opposers, especially in the music industry, as you can imagine. Um, Trump ended up beating the Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton and won the presidency. Um, this also uh, surprised many people and had, gave many people mixed emotions about it. Um, many people in the music industry have made their feelings known since he's, before and after he won the presidency. Um, Trump supporters in the music industry. Um, today we'll be talking about three main ones, but of course there are many others. Um, the three main ones are Kid Rock, Joy Villa, and Rodney Carrington. Um, the first one we'll discuss is Kid Rock, as you can see pictured here. Um, he is an American singer, rapper, songwriter, musician, recording producer, and actor. Um, he is probably one of the most vocal supporters of Trump. Um, even briefly said that he was going to run for Senate after Trump uh, was elected. Um, he's quoted as saying, let the business guy run the country like a business. Um, he support, because of his support of Trump, he's been faced with much backlash. Um, Kid Rock actually held a concert in Detroit a few months ago, and the National Action Network um, Detroit's chapter um, requested that the concert be canceled because of Kid Rock's um, support of Trump and simply because of that reason. The concert was not canceled however and the National Action Network held a protest outside of the concert venue um, during Kid Rock's uh, concert. Um, the second person we'll talk about is Joy Villa. Um, she is an American singer and songwriter. Um, as you can see here she wore a dress um, that was Trump themed and pro-Trump to the 2017 Grammy Awards. Um, surprisingly to many, her music sales actually skyrocketed after her pro-Trump outfit at the Grammys. Um, she's quoted as saying, I am 100% a Trump supporter. I believe in his message. I believe he will run this country like he runs his life successfully. I stand as a proud American and I stand for a un unified America that is tolerant of each other, no matter who we vote for. I stand behind our president because that's the American thing to do. I believe in love above all. Um, the third and final person that we'll talk about today is Rodney Carrington. Um, he's not quite as well known as the previous two, um, but he is a country music singer, actor, and most commonly known as a comedian. Um, he is quoted as saying, I can't wait for Donald Trump to be our next president. I know for sure he will make America great again. He also wrote a song entitled Vote for Trump. This was before Trump actually won the presidency, but while he was running for president. Um, in that song, Carrington sings from the very uh, beginning, in recent years, this country has gone to hell and cracks getting bigger on the side of the Liberty Bell. While Clinton, Obama, and the Democrat and crew sure did a number on me and you, it wasn't my vote. You can blame yourself for that, but we got a chance to turn things around. If you get your butt up, off the ground and understand we're all going to work. The, this big old country was built on sweat and if you're going to make it great again you're gonna get wet. But the first things first, we've all got to vote for Trump. 
Um, so these are just a few of the supporters. Um, and now I'll turn it over to Luke Carter um, for the remaining of the presentation. As Nathan said, my name is Luke Carter. Um, our topic is on President Trump and his impact on the music industry. Um, he covered Trump supporters. I'm going to be covering Trump opposers. Um, while he did have a few supporters, he had at least double the amount of supposers. Um, artists such as YG, a rapper, Green Day, which is a uh, pop punk band, and Eminem, also a rapper, have all put out songs discreetly or not so discreetly dissing the United States President Donald Trump. YG's song, F Donald Trump, or FDT, um, is a quite vulgar song about Donald Trump. It's also one of those not so discreet Donald Trump diss tracks. At one point during YG's song, he says, I like white folks, but I don't like you. All the N-words in the hood want to fight you. Surprised El Chapo ain't tried to snipe you. Surprised the Nation of Islam ain't tried to find you. Have a rally out in LA, we gonna F it up. Green Day is a pop punk band, as I mentioned earlier. They wrote a song called Troubled Times. In the song, it is difficult to tell if Green Day honestly does not like Donald Trump or just Republicans in general, because the last Republican president, George Bush, inspired them to write the song American Idiot. Um, in the song, they mention what part of history we learned when it's repeated. Some things will never come. Some things will never overcome if we don't seek it. The world stops turning, paradise burning. So, do, so don't think twice. We live in troubled times. Although President Donald Trump's name is not in the song directly, there are several images of him throughout the video in its entirety, like this one here. Eminem is the song that I'm going to focus the most on because it's put out most recently. Um, he put out the freestyle rap song for the BET Music Awards last month or the month before. That is completely about Donald Trump and why Eminem opposes him and any fan of his that supports Trump. Eminem mimics Southerners in his song by using a fake accent. He, he mimicked the summer, so, uh, Southerners because they're typically the biggest Trump supporters. He goes as far as saying F you to any of his fans that cannot decide if they want to support Trump or Eminem. I'm going to click on this link. We're going to watch a minute or two of it and uh, see what Eminem has to say about it.
the rest of America stand up. We love our military and we love our country, but we hate Trump! So with that we can see songs like this diss track and FDT, um, pretty aggressive lyrics and what they're trying to get across to their listeners. When Eminem was listening, or when he was asked about his freestyle dissing President Trump, he responded by saying this, it was about having the right to stand up to oppression. I mean, that's exactly what the people in the military and the people who have given their lives for this country have fought for. For everybody to have a voice and to protest injustices and speak out against other shit that's wrong. We're not trying to disrespect the military. We're not trying to disrespect the flag. We're not trying to disrespect our country, but shit is going on that we want to make you aware of. We have a president who does not care about everybody in our country. He is not the president of all of us. He is a president for some of us. He knows what he's doing. So in conclusion, we find that our three main supporters, Kid Rock, Joy Villa, and Rodney Carrington, and then our three main opposers, YG, Green Day, and Eminem, while all the they can do all the supporting they want or opposing they want, but we find at the end of the day Donald Trump is still the President of the United States no matter what any of them say. Um, whether they are for or against Donald Trump, since his presidency he has affected the music industry in a big way and will more than likely continue to do so.